for several years, we have been going from community to community to capture a collection of digital stories. We encourage everyone to tell their own story. To get you started, here's some inspiration. Life is always presenting us with obstacles, and Philip is here now to talk about how he has guided himself through them. Thank you for joining me, Philip. Um, talk to me a little bit about the unique reason why it was important for you to share the story that we're going to see. The reason why I want to share the story is because as a Latino, I grew up in Puerto Rico most of my childhood and teenage years, and I was without a father. And mm -hmm. my father was living here in the United States, and, and especially with not growing up with my father, I didn't, I, I didn't become depressed or upset or anything like that. It's just the way it was. And the reason why I want to share the story is because um, I did find what I really wanted to do with my life. And, and it was through film and photography. And while I was in college, it took me nine years to graduate from college. And, but I didn't know why until after I graduated, I found out that I was suffering from ADD. So this passion for, for media and for film, photography, has really kind of helped you persevere in a way. No matter what obstacles you have in life, you know, you need to focus on what you really want to do. And when you're good at something, you need to focus on that and, and follow that because it will lead you to be very successful in your life. Let's see how you use those visuals to tell your story. Born in Bridgeport, Connecticut, and by the age of four, my parents got divorced. And when I turned six, my mom, my sister, and I, we moved to Puerto Rico. Ten years later, we decided to move back to the United States. At that time, we were living in Hartford, Connecticut. Throughout my entire life, i been growing up in not very good neighborhoods. It's been rough, a lot of drugs, a lot of gangs in Puerto Rico, here in the United States. But um, my mom w was a tough woman and she still is until this day. And I think that her discipline and her love for us kept us going. While I was growing up, it, it was hard not to have my father with me. Even though I saw him every once in a while, like once every two years, he would come to Puerto Rico, come and visit us. But I didn't have that father figure there when I was growing up. And it was very difficult because I had some goals that I wanted to reach as a kid, but I couldn't accomplish them. My goal was to, one of my goals was to become a professional baseball player. And unfortunately that couldn't happen because well, my mom was working a full-time job and I didn't have a father or somebody to take me to baseball practice or games. But um, as life continued, when I got back to the United States, and I started going to college, that's where I found my true love for film and photography. And I'm grateful for that because I'm able to share my story and not only my story, but also the story of others out there. As a videographer and photographer, you're used to telling other people's stories and you even use some of the images and video that you took to tell your story. How is it being on the other end and the focus being on you? Well, it is. It is a lot more encouraging in my end to share my side and why am I doing it? Because not only by my background and what I went through when I was a kid, but that, that kind of make me stronger. I think you did a great job kind of showing where you are today through the work that you've done as a videographer and photographer. Thank you so much for being here with us and, and showing your work and your passion. Thanks for having me.